Welcome, Gemini's. This is the month of November. I want to say thank you for being here. Thank you for being back, Gemini's. I want to say to each and every one of you, please be aware of what is happening and what is transpiring. All right, Gemini's, I see um, um, some of you are hoping for a chow uh, or a new chow, a new start um, to come up for you guys. You're waiting, waiting, waiting um, for some sort of information. Um, to let you know that a new start is going to be coming up. So whatever is um, happening and transpiring, I see that you're waiting, waiting, waiting for a new start to come in. So this month of um, November for you, Gemini's, is about waiting. Um, it's about uh, waiting to receive some sort of information about a new start that is going to be coming in. So um, the first week you have water, second week you have water, third week is your week, Gemini. The third week come in with some sort of a balance um, for um, um, you people between the age of 18 and 45, some sort of a balance come back um, in your life, um, some sort of a, um, a connection that you had with someone is going to be ending, okay? And uh, you are waiting for some balance. So the third week is going to be your best week. Second week and third week. Second week for love. Third week for unexpected luck in business and in your life. A fourth week, the energy of the sun. You're going to be successful over your boss. And some sort of a deceptiveness that this person had created for you. Um, you could be successful over a uh, Leo that has used their um, powers also. So um, the first week, we're going to be checking out the first week and see what is happening and transpire. So in the first week, Gemini's, I see a judgment call on you and your partner and your relationship. And I see love is in the reverse. Now, whatever is happening, Gemini, whatever is happening and transpire with a relationship, it is uh, not... Uh, um, the first week is not the week for a relationship, so be aware of this. Because I see if you are in a relationship with a cancer, I see a judgment call coming down on this cancer. Um, a huge judgment call is going to come down on a cancer. So if you are in a relationship with a cancer, it's not looking good for this relationship, neither this cancer, because whatever has happened and transpired, I see a judgment call came down on this cancer, some sort of a situation um, transpire in the cancer world there is no love that is offered there's a whole lot of sadness could be coming up for you Gemini because of this cancer the cancer could have created a whole lot of uh, sadness in your world some of you are having relationships problems in the first week so be aware of this um, some sort of a relationship problems is going to be coming in is going to be showing up so um, be aware of what is happening and transpiring in the first week when it has to do with relationship, kids and that sort of a thing. Some sort of a problem. I see some of you, Gemini, wants to um, um, let go of a relationship with a cancer. Some sort of a, um, it's as if your angels and guides are saying, and don't go any further with this relationship with this cancer. So whatever is happening and um, to you, Gemini's, I see that this situation is transpiring where the universe is kind of saying, no, 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 don't do this. Don't get the papers. Don't do the papers. Don't marry to this person. Um, if you marry to this person, divorce this person, this is not good. It's as if they're, they're sending you so many, so many signs, Gemini. So look out for this sign whenever it comes up to relationship and relationship with a cancer. Then we see the five of pentacles. You're going to come out of some sort of a financial hardship. Um, some of you, Gemini, um, was caught up in some sort of a financial hardship. Whatever this financial hardship was, it was between, um, you and your partner. I see some sort of an ending is coming in for you and your partner. Some sort of an ending and transition. Some of you could have been, um, having some sort of a, a collaboration, um, and this collaboration is going to be over. So, um, yeah, if you live and share in a house, someone might be moving out. That sort of a situation. Um, if it's a business situation, I see, um, someone is kind of moving away also, and this is good. So be aware of what is happening and what is transpiring because you're going to be finding out 
um, exactly something about your partner, something about your relationship, something about a contract or something about some sort of a business association that you have in the first week. The second week is all about the lovers. It's a good week. And some of you, new love could be coming in for you in this week because this month is about love and um, meeting your soul flame and twin flame. So some sort of a new love could be coming in. Um, whatever hardships you, your relationship was having, it was created by a fire sign person. This person is an Aries Lee or a Sagittarian. And uh, this could be a mother-in-law or it could be your partner's mother had created a whole lot of issue in your relationship. And I see you're ending your relationship and getting out. This woman has cost you financially a whole lot, your mother-in-law, and you're getting out. It could be a mother-in-law, a sister or a mother, and you're getting out of this Gemini. Then we see some sort of an investigation is happening for you, Geminis, and your partner, especially if you were married to a cancer or you're married to a cancer, they're investigating this cancer, and they are going to be seeing um, a lot of information um, that you were not aware of this cancer. So whether this cancer is that some of you are married to is not very good, and um, you young men do not marry a cancer. Um, I see that you young men um, between the age of 18 and 45 is going to be changing your mind of getting hooked up with a cancer because you found out uh, something that a cancer mother has done and you're ending this. You're trying to end this. You have no more love for these people because you realize that these people have been very dishonest and uh, um, you want to get out of it. And I, I would say to you, um, young men um, or women, all you have to do is say, I no longer want to be in this relationship. That's it. End it. Um, and this is a kind of a power struggle for you to get out of a relationship. But I see a lot of you young men and women between the age of 18 and 45 is having some sort of a problem because of your partner. Whether if your partner is a cancer, um, you're having some sort of a problem. The rest of you are okay, but only the people who have issues with and is in a relationship with a cancer. Then I see the third week is your best, best week, Gemini's. Um, it is so powerful. Your third week is showing you young people up and some sort of a collaboration or friendships that you have is going to be over in the third week. And what I'm seeing that is transpiring is that um, you're going to be ending some sort of a relationship. And then um, as you end the relationship, a lot of financial stability and balance is going to be coming in. And this is going to be good. So whatever that was happening and transpiring, you Gemini, you magicians, you Geminis are finding out the truth about what has happened and transpiring and how a family and your partner and their family has uh, sucked you dry of your financial. And you're trying to get away from these people, especially the men. Women, you're okay because you're standing your ground and you are showing up for yourself. Um, some of you, Gemini, I, I expected some sort of uh, happiness with your partner, but it's, it's not here. Let it go because someone new is going to be coming in. The Rainbow Prince is here to help out uh, you, Geminis, okay, between the ages of 18 and 45. Let it go. Let it go. What's it meant to be? Let it go. So I see that some sort of really um, positive connection that you had is going to be over. It is okay. Um, it is for you to release yourself from this situation because it no longer serves you. You have clear up your karma with this person. Then um, in um, the fourth week, you're dealing with uh, the sun. You're going to be um, uh, successfully overcoming your boss or overcoming a fire sign man or overcoming an Aries or overcoming some sort of an issue that people in power has created. And you're going to be standing your ground and standing up against some really um, deceptive situation that is happening and transpiring. And um, you're going to be celebrating over um, a, a Pisces and uh, um, um, for some of you is a Pisces. If you have the Pisces boss, you're going to be showing up this Pisces boss or you're going to be showing up this Leo boss. However, this is coming up and transpiring. So 
be aware of what is happening and transpiring Gemini's um you air sign people seems to be re receiving a whole lot of reverse it's like things are coming back to you so your happiness and and joy was taken away because of uh, some sort of a um connection network you got yourself in and now you're getting out of this and for um you um bosses business people stand your ground and you're standing your ground strong a whole lot of you young um Geminis are going to be going after um, a, a fire sign person, whether this fire sign person is, is a very deceptive person. And if this could be a mother-in-law or um, a mother or a sister or something, but you are getting out of uh, a relationship with this person and turning your back uh, to some uh, people who you were dealing with because you realize that these people are not uh, very honest. So um, realize what is happening understand what is happening know what is happening um uh, for you gemini so i see some of you gemini's was in a relationship with a cancer i see um this cancer had a fire sign mother you're getting out of this which is good some of you gemini's are going again uh, going and and really um standing up to an aries the or sagittarius person this person really don't care they've turned their back to you but you're like whatever but i'm telling you what you need to know so it could be a mother-in-law um this person uh, basically turned their back to you gemini's but it says if i don't care you can turn your back and you can don't want to um listen to me but i'm telling you this is over so some of you could be in a relationship with a fire sign woman and you're really telling this lady i don't want to see you anymore and i want to get out of this situation Whatever is happening, I see a lot of you it could be a mom also that you're having a huge fight with. So be aware. Judgment call is going to be coming um, down. And I see that you, Geminis, are going to be happily getting out of some sort of a um, network or connection or contract. However, this is transpiring and you're okay with that because you need to move forward okay you really need to move forward and by ending a relationship i see that you are going to be becoming financial stability because whoever you were in a relationship with was draining you okay then we're looking at the hardship is going to be over in the third week gemini's and you know this could be happiness and joy because really what i'm seeing is that your happiness and joy with this person wasn't there and you're going to be regaining your happiness and joy and um reconnecting with people and you're moving away from a fire sign person so some of you were married to a fire sign person and you're getting out of this marriage because this person was so controlling and i see some of you are going to be um um standing up uh, against a leo um person or um you're going to be protecting yourself from this person for what they have done so a lot of you um young people between the ages 18 and 45 need to stand your grounds okay you need to stand your grounds don't let people walk over you you need to stand your grounds whatever is happening and transpiring stand your grounds because a lot of people are walking over you and you need to take back your power so it is um a month where um you um people between the age of 18 and 45 is going to be um regaining your happiness and joy um, because your happiness and joy was taken away from you when someone entered your life, whoever this person is and whatever that was transpiring, I've created a lot of issues for you and created a lot of horrible, horrible situation um, for you. And now you are uh, moving away from the situation and letting go of the situation and is reclaiming your life uh, and reclaiming balance for yourself uh, and letting this person know that, you know, it's over because I'm taking back my life. Uh, so it could be a marriage. It could be, um, some controlling, um, people who were very controlling outside forces that came in or people that enter your life and started to control the whole endeavor of your life. And you're like, no, I'm taking my life back. This is not going to be happening. I know who I am and there's no way, um, you know, this sort of a situation is going to be affecting my world anymore because it's time. So love is not really the spotlight. It's about regaining your consciousness 
a whole lot of you are getting out of a relationship with a fire sign person. A judgment call is going to be coming down where some sort of a contract is going to be ended and you're going to be regaining your balance. Then I see the energy of the lovers and the energy of the lovers has to do with uh, um, some of you married people between the age of 18 and 45. You need to stand your ground against your partner because your partner is um, taking advantage of you. You're going to be regaining your happiness, okay? It's as if your happiness was uh, at the height and you're going to be regaining your happiness. Whoever... Um, um, is uh, um, a father. Some of you are going to be helping out your kids uh, um, to get out of uh, a situation with a fire sign person because it's as if you realize that this fire sign person is not healthy for your child, whatever is happening and transpiring. The rainbow princess air compensation preservation is here. The wise woman of a uh, um, the Wonderland is here. Integrity and comp and compensation is here. Um, the energies of uh, that is coming up is that follow um, and become the leader, Gemini. Do not follow other people. You become the leader. You create your own world. Um, compensation is going to be returning to you, Gemini's. So I see um, this is the Rainbow Prince that is going to be returning. Um, your materialistic wealth, your happiness and joy. The wise woman of Wonderland, integrity is very important and compromisation is important. So some of you need to find integrity and compromisation. And this is very good because this is like the end of a cycle that is coming in for you, Gemini's. And this is why you are waiting for this new start. You have been waiting, waiting, waiting for this new start. Um, follow the leader. Don't follow the leader. Be the leader in your life. Okay. So we have four, we have three, four, eight, uh, 21, 26, and 40. Again, three, four, eight, 21, 26, and 40. Those are your numbers for this month. I want to congratulate you, uh, Gemini's, for going through and healing this really horrible karmatic situation. Um, you're going to be okay. You're going to be coming out on top and be okay. Um, there has been a, a huge situation. So a judgment call is going to be coming down on a corporation and uh, um, a contract. Okay. So a judgment call is coming down on two people. And they're in, in a contract. Whatever is transpiring, it could be a contract. But I don't see um, an ending. I just see that uh, um, maybe you didn't give them what they want. And this is what is transpiring. Then the energy in the second week um, is the energy of transformation with a marriage or a relationship. It's going to be coming up. And if you're in a relationship with a cancer or a fire sign, person as some sort of a transformation is going to be coming out then um we see the energy of the magician in the third week which is going to be your best week where the magician come in together with uh, um to bring some balance uh, um with temperance to bring some balance back in your world especially for your young people all the people you're going to be okay um, it's as if you have overcome and master. You keep on mastering, mastering, mastering things in your life. So people 45 years and older, you're going to be overcoming and mastering anything that come um, in your way because you are going to be resolving it very, very fast. Okay. Then um, um, in the last week, they're going to be finding out what your boss have done. So if your boss was a Pisces or a Leo, this person is out the door because they're going to be finding out what a Pisces and a Leo have done to you, Geminis. And um, this Pisces and Leo is going to be over. So you're going to be successfully um, getting rid of two people um, or getting rid of two situations that was affecting you and bring balance back in your world. I gotta go, Gemini. Namaste. Until next time.